Today on Trail Tracker, I'm going to try and answer the most common question I get asked about e-bikes. How long does the battery last? So hopefully you can see that there. 100% battery. It's a 625 watt hour battery. And we're going to go and see how far this thing can take me. This Bosch motor has four levels of support. You've got Eco, uh, you've got Tor, which is the mode that I'm currently in, EMTB, which changes the amount of uh, support you get depending on how much pressure you put on the pedals, and then Turbo, which, if I'm honest, I don't think I'll be using a great deal, which just gives you maximum power all the time. Uh, for today's test, I'm going to just leave it in Tor mode for as long as possible, um, and then I'll use EMTB if I need a little bit of extra help getting up any of the climbs. Because I guess this will be pretty much reflective of how I'll use it in the future. So obviously there are a ton of factors that will affect the range in terms of kilometers or the range in terms of vertical meters climbing that you're going to get out of your e-bike. Um, you know, a lighter rider will not use as much battery as a heavier rider. So with my 90 kilos, plus all my kit that I've got with me, I would expect to probably use more battery than the average rider. Um, the surface you're riding on, that will make a big difference as well. If you're riding on tarmac where there's very little rolling resistance, um, you're not gonna use as much battery as if you're on a gravel road or a technical climb. Um, talking of climbs, this gradient makes a difference as well. Going downhill, the bike doesn't use any battery. The steeper you go uphill, the more battery you end up using, it seems. Yeah. Tire pressure, that will obviously play a role in combination with the surface that you're riding on. If you pump those wheels up nice and hard, then they will obviously roll much better. But it'll be pretty rubbish for going downhill. And I don't want to stop at the top of every hill to let air out my tyres. So I'm running the standard pressures that I would always run when I'm out for a normal e-bike ride. Top of the first climb, 17 kilometres in about an hour. And I've used 24% of battery. I don't know how many vertical meters I've done, but I'll put that at the bottom of the screen for you. So part of my reason for choosing this route in particular was these punchy climbs. And I'll be using the EMTB mode to get up there, which is a little bit more representative of what I'm likely to be doing when I'm up in the mountains, where there will just be steep sections where I know I'll be using EMTB mode. Top of the first big descent now. And what have we got? I've used 30% of battery. Traveled just under 20 kilometers. Let's go and see what this descent's like today in the damp. Mm. Could be interesting. Yo, I'm oh, ouch. Oh, oh. Not exactly that beautiful pairing of man and machine you envision for your first descent with a brand new bike. We're starting the second major climb now. Um, I've used 1% more battery than I had at the top of the last descent. This could be a long test. Okay, here we've got a bit of a climbing change. A long time since I've been up here. Looks like it's been a long time since anybody's been up here. I've never actually made it to the top. Oh, but I'm got a feeling that the super Bosch power is going to make me victorious. Yes. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just over 20, 29 kilometers in. 
I've got 52% of battery left and I'm about to head down the descent which is going to take me back into the valley. Well, the original plan was head home and then run the battery out somewhere near home, just climbing up and down the hills there. But I've got half the battery left. This is what the change of plan looks like. Single trail climb. I have never cycled up here, only down. But I'm pretty sure it is all entirely climbable. This should definitely uh, help bring that percentage down. I'm gonna go about halfway up. Hmm, I've used four or five percent. Oh, keep going. Another climb conquered. Oh wow. So, that one used almost 10% of the battery. It's looking promising if I want to get home before dark. Uh, 32 kilometers. Meters climbed up at the bottom of the screen. I've made it back to the village. I've got 37% battery left, which means I'm not going to head up the hill towards home. I'm going to go across the other side of the valley and hit up a trail I know really well. I've hit the magical 30% battery and the battery indicator's gone orange. I want to be somewhere near home when it's about 10% because when I tested one of these, it didn't have a full battery when I picked it up and when it hit 10% I had nothing more. Gay GMTB mode again. Use up some power. So bizarre, I seem to have developed the exact opposite of range anxiety. I'm kind of keen for the, uh, the battery to start running out because <laughs> I'm quite hungry and I'd like to go home and have a bite to eat. Quick update. 43 and a half kilometers, 43.6 kilometers, riding for two hours, 50 minutes. I'll put the uh, elevation gain at the bottom of the screen. Let's go and see what this trail's like today. Here we go. I'm up to home. I'm going to take the gloves off. I'm going up the way I would normally come down on the path. I think the bike's trying to tell me something. Display's now turned red. 15%. Home sweet home. Seems silly to stop and get something to eat. I'm going to just going to scoot up a couple of little climbs. Okay, 13%, 11%, here comes the moment of truth. 10% has come, and we're still moving forward. Okay, we're even down to 9%. Now I have no idea, is he gonna make it all the way to zero? There we go, it's finally empty. So I've ridden 50.6 kilometers, three hours, 22 minutes, and I've climbed however many meters it says at the bottom of the screen. Now all I have to decide is, how am I gonna get home? I have to say, I'm extremely impressed. I made no real efforts to conserve the battery at all on this ride so I can only begin to imagine how long you could make the battery last if you absolutely had to. Especially if you add a range extender into the mix. Perhaps a couple of ideas for future videos? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Anyway, thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you liked it, it'd be great if you gave it a thumbs up and it'd be awesome if you subscribed. As always, thanks for coming along, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.